Hey, how's it going? I want to show you how and why I'm using Active Campaign uh, for my email marketing software. Okay, so um, what is email marketing first? Okay, email marketing is just sending uh, automated uh, sequences or emails to your customer list. Okay, so email marketing is extremely important because in the day of uh, the age of data, right, the customer list is the only thing that you kind of own. Okay, you don't own your YouTube channel. Okay, you don't own your, your Facebook page, you don't own your Instagram page, okay? These things, if the, the service provider, Facebook, shuts you down because they don't like you somehow, or like YouTube, they suddenly like ban you for some reason, you cannot have access to your customers, right? So email marketing is extremely important and uh, it's the entire backbone of your online business because uh, you can basically email your list and generate money for free, okay? You don't have to pay Facebook or Google additional money to get in front of your audience, right? Okay, to be fair, like nowadays email marketing is like 30% uh, open rate is considered good, right? So if you have a list of like uh, 10,000 people, only 3,000 of them will open up your emails, okay? But like that's, that's the trade-off you gotta do, right? You just gotta write better emails, okay? So um, email marketing is extremely important for that reason, okay? And uh, you definitely need it, okay? So why why do I personally use Active Campaign? okay? Uh, uh, let me show you, okay? So like, for example, in this case study video that I have, so I run a marketing agency and um, I basically help businesses grow uh, their business uh, through Facebook ads, right? So I'm using Active Campaign here and uh, you can see my opt-in form and this, this opt-in form goes into my automation right here, which I'll show you later on as well, okay? So basically, I was looking at the prices and like do a lot of investigation because I like to investigate things before I buy, right? So um, you can see here, right, Active Campaign, like when uh, the contact size is, is small, is actually a bit a tad more expensive than other service providers. So I was looking at GetResponse as well as looking at Mailchimp, okay? And like Mailchimp is like twenty five dollars per month at five hundred, right? Um, like which which makes no sense because Mailchimp is like free for two thousand subscribers, but after a while it gets extremely expensive. So if you if you thought that you could still on Mailchimp, right? Um, I would suggest you go and look at their product their pricing page first before you actually buy their premium plan because eventually you're gonna have to buy the the premium plan if you're gonna do professional email marketing and run a build real business. Okay, so uh, compare that to get response, right? Get response is quite similar in terms of pricing, but when the the size the email list size increases over time, uh, get response is actually uh, more expensive than Active Campaign. Right, so and actually, Active Campaign has more powerful uh, automation features, which I'm gonna show you in this video as well. Okay, so if you can see here, right, um, if I scroll all the way back, and I want to grow my list size to big, right? So you gotta expect your list size is gonna grow. Okay, so for example, at like seventy five thousand, um, you pay two hundred ninety nine two hundred ninety nine dollars uh per month, but on the, uh, there's no seventy five thousand, right? So let's just compare uh fifty thousand. Okay, let's just compare a hundred thousand, right? At 100,000, you're paying 369 for active, active campaign, and you're paying 499 uh, per month uh, for um, your get response. Okay, minus 12, 12 months, 24 months, it's still it's still like more expensive, right? So uh, like that you you can kind of see okay if you pay at 24 months, it's cheaper, right? But you can kind of see right that um, like in terms of pricing wise, uh, they kind of get you at, at the small amounts, but at the big amounts, it's it's uh, more expensive. And then for um, for Mailchimp as well, it's like if I literally just go up to like like 40,000, like it's already more expensive. So Mailchimp is actually not that cheap, I would say, right? They actually have enterprise pricing plan and it's expensive. Okay, so that's kind of the reason why I use Active Campaign, and uh, specifically it's um, the website tracking um, that I, I use as well. So I want to show you that. Okay, so how do I, uh, uh, I want to go through a few things uh, about Active Campaign, such as uh, in any email marketing software, there, there are these, okay? So let me just explain. There's like lists, list segmentations, which is basically you have people and emails coming into your list, okay? And you can segment those peoples based on different tags. Tags are things where certain actions that people take and then you can tag a person and they are basically in a separate list, right? So for example, um, in my opt-in list right here, right? For example, if I have email and then I say, I ask, um, do you have, uh, how much is your business making, right? And then um, that, that tag, right, says, okay, 50,000, 100,000, 150,000, Right, so different tags, you can also segment uh, your list into different tags. So people who have $50,000 businesses or $100,000 businesses, they are in different lists, right? You can send them according to different tags, okay? Um, forms, okay, what are forms? Forms are basically uh, these things right here. And you can customize your forms uh, to anything you like. So give me one second, uh, I'll just go into forms, okay? So forms are how you collect your, your email addresses and stuff. And if you can see here, right, um, I can customize my email address uh, and uh, the type of forms I want to put. So first name, last name, for example, I just want to drag and drop and I can just drag and drop my last name right there. If I want a custom field, which is basically a custom question or whatever, for example, is, um, are, you, are you happy? Okay, I just press add. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, don't know where is it. It's a bit awkward. Yeah, but like that, you understand what I mean, right? You can put in a custom field and custom questions that you want to ask. Uh, ask questions. Uh, uh, sorry, that you can ask your customer before they opt into the lead form. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. Okay, next one is website tracking. So website tracking is very important because um, I can, for example, if a customer goes to this page. So for example, if a customer goes to this page, and I already collected that email, then I can send them a specific email sequence based on that. Right, so if I know, for example, in e-commerce, right, for example, if uh, there's a product page that sells this highlighter right here, okay, I can send them a specific email sequence to people who have visited that highlighter page, right? So I want to educate the customer about how to use the highlighter, uh, how much the pricing is, uh, what are the, the different highlighters that we sell, right? So can, can you see uh, how powerful it is, right? So how I generally use website tracking is, um, for me, right, I use it in my automations, which is uh, what I'm going to go through next as well. Right, so people who have already booked into my, my calendar, they will go through a next page, okay? And the next page is, is this URL right here, okay? They will go into a page that will show my case study, okay? So they will watch this video and afterwards they'll book a call with me, okay? If they do not book a call, yeah, if they do not book a call, then I'll keep sending them emails, okay? So you can see here, right, if they have never visited um, this URL right here, which is uh, the book a call page. I will keep sending them emails to like educate them uh, about my service and product and, and tell them and like uh, urge them, right? Urge them to book a call, okay? So it's, I don't know, this is just important for me, I guess, but the, you can see uh, the, the power of automation and uh, the features that you can do, right? So if they have visited this page, but not another page, you can do another if else condition, right? So if you can see here, I click onto this, how would you like to split this automation right here? Uh, people who have has not visited this URL right here, then I will continue on to this flow right here. Yes, then I'll send them an email, right? Then I'll wait one day, and then if they still have not booked a call, then yes, I'll send them a second email, and so on and so forth, right? Hopefully that makes sense to you, okay? Um, other conditions that we have, for example, is like and or, right? Uh, select a condition. If they are in the United States, for example, then I'll send an email, right? Uh, right, um, site and event data has not visited this one. Okay, total number of page visits, right? So for example, if they visited the page multiple times, I know they are interested in the product, right? So I can keep sending them, sending them things. And uh, you can see, right, you can be very creative in your automations and flows as well. Um, maybe i show you something else, actions. Um, has not clicked on, has forward, has replied, did not submit form, waiting on goal, right? Is in, custom face in, is in Facebook custom audiences, right? So Active Campaign also connects uh, with Facebook so that um, if they actually come into a custom audience bucket, right, you can retarget those people and send them specific uh, email sequences based on that, okay? So like it, it's very, very powerful and you can try it out yourself. But basically, um, because uh, Active Campaign is designed for noobs like me, um, <laughs> you can basically customize uh, your, your email campaigns uh, according to you, what you like, right? So you can see here, right, if I scroll all the way down and I just want to build something out for you, so for example, I, I literally just press plus, send an email, um, select my email, save. Okay, and then like uh, the email just e immediately goes in, right? So can you see how, um, in a sense, simple it is? Okay, let me just delete this email right here. Yeah, can you see how simple it is? It's a literal drag and drop builder, but for email. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Okay, uh, the next one I would like to, I guess last thing that I'd like to show you is uh, manual broadcast emails. So manual broadcast is the, the same as literally any other email autoresponder out there, uh, but yeah. It's just sending emails, but I want to show you how the page builder actually looks like. So for example, if I wanted, I just create a campaign right here. Okay, then I'll put campaign name. And for example, I'll put test, I put standard. Okay, I select my list right here. Press next. Okay, I'll choose uh, a template from before. So for example, I use this template. I'll just put test, press continue. And so you can see here, right, it's, um, okay, avoid my cringy face, but basically, uh, it's, it's a ready drag and drop uh, email builder. So like any, anybody can figure it out, right? So for example, here, right, I have my image. I want to put a link to my YouTube video. If someone clicks this image right here, they will go and watch my YouTube video. Okay. Um, yeah, this is just text, right? If you want to insert anything, just literally drag and drop. So for example, if I wanted a button for someone to click, right, scroll a button, click here. Uh, watch video now. Okay, I'm not gonna customize the button, but you can customize the button. And you can see, right, it's very, very simple. It's very, very simple stuff, okay? You can obviously create um, very fancy emails as well. 
putting graphics, uh, graphic designs, uh, social links, like, like your Facebook and whatever, but I prefer to keep it simple, okay? So this is just me. Uh, yep. Okay, so um, you can insert your videos, line break, RSS feed. For example, if I insert a video right here, put, that, put the YouTube link, okay, then, yeah. Okay, then obviously you can also schedule out your emails. So if, if you are writing your emails beforehand, and then you're sending them uh, at a later date, right? You can come in here, you can scroll down, you press schedule, press on, choose the date, specific date. For example, if I want to send on the, on the 28, 17, uh, uh, 5, 5.58 as Singapore time, and then I can press finish, okay? And then it will it will send out whenever it is, right? So you can pre-send your emails as well, okay? Um, save and exit, okay. So like, um, hopefully you get what I mean by this, and uh, the reason why you need to really focus on email, right, is because it's going to be your most profitable channel, right? If you don't believe me, uh, you can go and find out all the internet marketers who do this, okay? Like email marketing, you are able to extend the lifetime value without paying Facebook and Google an additional amount of money, okay? They own all the traffic. It's okay. But all you're trying to do is to gather your, your customer list so that you can send them emails, you can advertise to them without paying Facebook and Google in the future, okay? Um, the goal of the email list, right, is... Because eventually, if you want to sell your business, for example, okay, you can sell the email list together with it. And your, your revenue multiple on your business will be many, many times full. And the reason why is that is because uh, the access to the customer is the most important thing in every business, right? If there's access to the customer, a person will pay for that. Okay, not only that, for example, if you are a solo uh, internet marketer or whatever, right? And then you want to sell uh, info products or you want to sell e-commerce or whatever. Right? Or you want to recommend a course affiliate marketing sort of thing, right? This is suitable for you because you can send uh, your list valuable information and if they buy from you, then like you can use email marketing as well, okay? So hopefully this gives you uh, an entire um, sensing of why email marketing is important and how you can use it. And uh, like Active Campaign is just like the software I use, right? So if you, don't, you, want, to, if you want to use something else, like you can go ahead. Yeah, but uh, personally, I use Active Campaign and um, think of it as rent, okay? As rent on, on the internet. You don't pay physical rent, but you pay uh, virtual rent, okay? If you have any other questions, like really uh, regarding Active Campaign, uh, just let me know. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, like really, just, just let me know in uh, down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, okay, hope to see you soon. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, see you in the next video.